Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. I'm using our newest stamp of removal collection. It's called Tropically Yours. And if you've been following along the last uh, week and a half or so, we've been revealing all of these products on my blog. We have one, two, three, four, five stamp sets, a background stamp, and the Cabana Tiles dies that come in this collection. And I wanted to make a card with this canvas brunge <laughs> canvas grunge background stamp. I'm going to use the Coral Cabana ink, which is our newest party collection color. Have you grabbed it yet? It is in our store as a regular item. I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock, just lay it over the top, and then I have just a piece of computer paper, just a scrap piece. I'm going to rub this just like so, and we get a really great canvas grunge textured background. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I really like to then take my ink pad and just gently rub it on my cardstock and this gives me a really cool look. You could also use ink blending tools to get this color on there and because this is grungy and kind of messy looking I just did some streaking right there and it doesn't really matter because it just adds to the texture goodness of this uh, background piece here that I'm making. Now I want to add in even more texture, so I'm going to use the Good Vibes Borders stamp set and we'll just do a little bit of background stamping. I stamped twice before re-inking and I'm going to do that again. And then I want to make sure that my ink is dry because I'm going to do a little bit of embossing. So we'll just use the powder tool to cover the entire piece of cardstock and that will help dry up any of that ink that may still be a little bit damp. So now I'm taking this stamp from the Good Vibe Borders. I'm just gonna stamp a few of them with Wow Embossing ink right onto the background. It's kind of like a little mesh border, really cool image. And then I'm gonna take Rose Gold Embossing Powder. I think that will be a really cool color effect on this background. And let's see, I ended up having four and we need to go for an odd number. So I'm gonna add one more. I'll take my heat tool and heat this. The embossing powder will melt and it will turn to a really gorgeous rose gold color. Rose gold metallic color that is. So I've now added my technique piece to a black layer and a white card front. So now I have the base for my card and now it's time to work on the embellishments and the greeting. Before I get to that next step, I totally forgot. <laughs> I wanted to add some of these leaves from the Leave Me in Paradise on this background. So wish me luck because I'm stamping on a piece that's already mounted and whatnot. If I make a mistake, well, that's not gonna be too nice. But it's just background stamping and adding texture, so I think I'll be all right. <laughs> so just a couple of these. Oh, I love that. And maybe I'll add one more. I can't resist. I need one more down in the bottom corner here. And I think that'll do it. I just added the leaf and the fabulous flamingo. And you can see what a great card this is with lots of different products from this stamp approval collection. That is the great thing about these collections. All of the products are made to coordinate so that you can uh, do things like this and it's easy. So if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and then click the link below in the description so you can head over to my blog. You can see photos of this project, the supply list and everything you need to know. And also while you're there, make sure you subscribe to our, to our email newsletter list. Thanks for being here. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you soon.